there it is what's up guys welcome to the stream thanks for waiting and welcome back welcome back we are going to be continuing our super hornet series run with uh star citizen and our weapon loadouts make sure the mic's not too all right so here we are loading up <clears throat> All right, so um, yeah, how's uh, how's the week been for you guys? I hope um, hope hasn't been too painful. Work, school, whatever it is that um, keeps us busy. And um, what we're gonna do is jump into our hangar, and we're gonna have a look at these um, these weapons on the ship. We'll have a bit of a walk around, get a good feel for it, to give um, everybody pretty much an idea of uh, what is it um, we're going to be looking at today. So, playing different games during the week makes you a little bit um, forgetful about what the keys are. All right, so what do we have? Okay, so we had that loadout from the previous um, stream, which was the Sledge 2 mass drivers with um, the Strife mass drivers just here. So what we're going to be doing with this uh, with this particular uh, stream today, we're going to be looking at the... What were they called again? <laughs> the um, NN14 neutron cannons and the Panther repeaters, size 3 Panther repeaters. So... First thing we're going to do is jump into our first person view and we're going to exchange for the panther repeaters which are the CF227 right here. Excellent, so we're going to put that bad boy right there and same thing on the other wing, we're going to do exactly the same thing with this one. We're going to Peter should be another panther. Let me just there it is, panther. Okay, awesome. So now we have those on the ship there. Make sure that I didn't take it from the other wing. No, I did not. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do in the nose hard point is we are going to throw in the neutral cap. There's one. And the other one is going to... Gun. Okay, we're going to swap that with... A neutron cannon. I thought I had three neutron. Why is there only two? Let me just uh, double check after this one. Pretty sure I had. If not, we're gonna have to make it three. Yes, I thought that I had three guys, so just give me a quick, just a quick look at um, how many I actually organized. If not, I'll just have to get another one, which will mean that um, we can complete our loadout. Okay, so my RSI. My hanger, my bad. My RSI again, my hanger. Then we go to my ROMs. No, I've only got two. That's a bit of a um, 
blank moment. Okay, so let, I'll just grab another one. Won't be long. This doesn't take long usually, unless I can't find the web. Oh, here it is. Right. And N14 neutron cannon. Check out. We only want one. And we will do a standard check in of all the terms and conditions of buying any weapon at RSI. We'll pay the 1600 rec for it. And it's all done. Okay, it's beautiful. So I'll just close the browser, go back in game. And this may not, if anything, I don't think this will actually load in straight away. So what we're going to do is just restart the game really quickly. Which will take probably just uh, around 60 seconds or so. All right. Let's relaunch. Okay, awesome. So now we're looking at... Um, Just to reload at this moment. All right, sweet. Let's go back to the hangar and then, uh, finish finish the um the equipping of this loadout so we can take it out for a bit of a test flight okay so i need to put it on this yep done and we should have a spare neutron cannon now fantastic so pretty much what we have here is um a set of neutron cannons on the ball turret of the super hornet and a single neutron cannon here on the nose hard points size 3 laser repeaters these cf227 panther repeaters right here and another one on the other side of the aircraft right there Awesome, so um, let's take it for a spin. Looks like so we're going to return to exit the menu. And we're going to load into pretty much um, the standard um, weapon testing sort of simulation that we're, I'm going to go through, which would be uh, Vandal Swarm and Pirate Swarm, different type of ships, different type of um, AI technique, fighting technique. And, it just pretty much puts the weapons to more of a uh, rigorous test, both in um, agility, the aircraft's agility while it's basically been, what have we got, Super Hornet, yeah, we set that ship, and let's see if we can find a match in the AU, oh, oh wow, that was, that was very quick, let me just, there we go, grab my, Elbow leany will push the mouse pad up the joystick right there. Lock gimbals, that's how Vandal Swarm done. initiated. Right, so we are here on the uh, on the test of this uh, loadout, which we're just gonna have a quick look at. Pretty much what we have is Panther repeaters on the wing. You can see the Warning. neutron cannons on board, turret, and as of the nose hard point. So, good night. So, Alright, let's check it out. Ah, of course, right? Alright, so, I snooze, I lose. Alright, let's, um, let's try this again. Stand by for reintegration. Hmm. I wonder what that guy's got. Let's make the closest bogey. 7,000 meters. 6,000. Chat. Forward proximity alert. Proximity Check. alert. 
Alright, put uh, mark the burners on and we head straight for this uh, scavenger 3. The pit points are a little bit on the offset, but not too bad. See? So the idea behind this loadout is um, quite a basic, quite a simple one. Um, oh, don't black out, baby, don't black out. Pretty much, um, the idea is to come in with the um, to come in with the uh, panther repeaters, with the laser repeaters, and as it gets closer, obviously um, activate. Uh, deliver the um, the power of the nutrient cannons. But it seems that I'm um, having trouble engaging the repeaters and um, the nutrient cannons that would work with this one. Warning, there are multiple hostiles inbound. Okay, so... Okay, here we go. Come um, on. Scavenger. Scavenger, scavenger, up to zero. Okay, so once I get a better feel for these panthers, I've just been using the aircraft uh, with cannons and stuff like that. Definitely in a Charge it at scavenger 5. 
coming in with the uh, laser. Closer, like within 500 meters, I would say. Push that hit with the uh, Zero job. hostile contacts remaining. We have hits. Contact. Elite units en route. One way to go. Stand by for reintegration. Alright, so we are on the street, which uh, it's not. It's not very far into, uh, okay. into the simulation. Been uh, losing ships to silly reasons.
nobody else to shoot at me, right? So. Yes. 
we pretty much made it to wave 5 um, yeah, double teaming definitely yeah. gave the enemy the edge definitely I yeah. ended up losing my team member early in the round interesting. very interesting now quickly gonna jump Pirate Swarm. I don't think I'll last as long on Pirate Swarm. Ships there and a little bit um not uh we'll place the pirate this one. Check out Besser. Finally, I'd like to make a new server. No. Okay, so let's go back. Let's play the own stars. And we will launch the game. Alright, so we're going to do a quick single player run on this one. And um, we'll see how we do. Okay, here we go. This is just two. Swarm initiated. Warning: there are multiple hostiles inbound. To we'll lock our gimbals. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's go. We have ourselves an Aurora. Aurora. Forward proximity alert. Port proximity alert. Forward proximity alert. against um, normal ships, the ships that you might be on the universe rather than in the arena commander simulator. Uh, so we're chasing Aurora 1, it's that type 4,000 meters. Do 
their share of um, of the work slowed out, which has been very good. Contact elite units en route. Ships, um, yeah, you go basically pretty much what would you say, trading them in, would say, and um, yeah, so. Very limited in the uh, arsenal that a 350R has, I have, to, I have to admit that. It is a racer, not a, um, not a fighter, however, it does have the hard points available to it. Basically means that um, if you um, if you have the weapon, you can convert it from a racer to a very fast fighter. Zero and it's a lot of fun to use as well. I have to admit, a lot of fun. So, right, so chat Morning. server back up. There are multiple Morning. hostiles inbound. So we are on waves 5, we haven't um, lost any respawns here, which is good. Um, it seems that... Um... Oh, that was a bad forward hit, I should have strafed up.
closer. Tag him up a bit. Show me we're in business, right? Of course. Repair? Oh, come on. That's a bit... Shield. Cheap. Alright. Where's our next stop? Target. Right, so our next target is... Oh, look at that. Our AI friend has been taken out. weaker side though, so they can definitely give you a belt in if you're not paying attention. Um, that, that's something they, sh they shouldn't be underestimated like that, I suppose. Um, they do have the ability of carrying a large number of missiles for, for a small ship. For what it is, they can carry a large number of missiles. Um, by default, it's not by default, the Gladius' configuration is not as scary as your, the potential. Motion sick sickness, um, yeah. Missile him out straight away. We're going to see if we can line him up and just, just throw a warning shot at him. There he is, there's him. These missiles have been very, uh, very effective. Um, in case you are wondering which missiles I am using, just a default one actually, that this gun is not taking care of. Yeah, that's actually 
Chihuahua and Kupai are always there, you know, giving you those little, those little hits in the background when you're chasing, chasing a target down. You can only really get a lock when we're like within the hundred meters. He ended up crashing into a rock. Come back in the mix. Warning, there are multiple hostiles. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Alright. Wave 7, here we go. So after this, uh, we're pretty much heading to the universe. Um, see how far we can get, of course, uh, to um, the waves here. But um, once we're done with the simulator, which I put the universe is uh, we have this face inside, right? Probably do some ICC missions while we're there. Some um, Comoray missions and. Alright. We 
we'll go and rescue our friend. Just outside seven kilometers and taking fire. Missiles. Maybe some fuel. Sorry lady, I'm trying to turn it out. Refuel and repair and... You know that road, right? Aft, proximity alert, traffic. Alright, so we're just on the chase. Well, Shields they're on the right. chase. And I am making my way all the way over here. Pick up some loot. Shields. When we start replenished. Blackout, the blackout. Okay, so the so we've got ourselves another saber to deal with. I'm so hungry. Wow, saber three. Yes, you saber three. Sometimes it goes into the support mode, but I don't actually know what it is. Um. Yeah. Alright, waves eight. Waves eight. Alright. The ship is not too bad. It's in pretty good shape so far. We should be able to carry through this a uh, lot of waves pretty easy, I'd say. Yeah. Right. Uh, full throttle. Uh, so 350R. Definitely bring the right game, not that.
So as you can see, pretty much, it's definitely one of those loadouts where... Pretty much one of those loadouts where you pretty much have to engage the repeaters first. And once you get a pretty solid block, or close enough, whichever one comes first. You unleash the neutron cannons, essentially, right? we get the opportunity strike really fast in this baby because I'll tell you what they're sneaky and they'll get away from you real quick wow. oh, wasn't hard enough. Alright, so we are currently looking at waves 9 and um, we'll take the saber on actually. Let's take Ringo on. He's going to be our first point of contact, I think. And Ringo happens to be a cutlass. Cutlass that is multi crude, of course. Out of all. straight away I was getting no for reintegration all right sweet so let's go back and all right awesome. oh Ringo I didn't take Ringo down all right where are you Ringo there you are buddy Oh, here we go. So we need some repairs here. Wow. 
Wow, my tail was already gone. Eliminated, so wow, not bad actually. I blasted Warning. this. Um, there are multiple hostiles inbound in this instance longer than what I thought I would have. Alright, okay. let's take this up. Uh, our first up, uh, okay. Our first customer, Cyber One.
Yeah, bad aim. Get close. This guy is purposely staying away from us. Down M50. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much chasing these guys down. I have already mentioned that. Yeah, my, the rear of my aircraft is a bit shot. But yeah, the repairs, I hope. Finished. Some missiles, maybe? Ah, okay, that's a bit. Ah, look at that. Now I'm just using this opportunity, small window, to uh, replenish and loot. Some missiles there. Two missiles replenished, I'll take that. Alright, let's take this guy down. So we'll have to burn uh, use afterburners to push all the way there and Up. Warning, there are multiple hostiles inbound. Incoming enemy. Boogie. Wow, wave 11. I've definitely progressed a lot further than what I thought I'd get when they slow down. Missiles run out so fast. Brand new ship, here we go. Nice, brand new ship. Let's take this down. Take this guy down. We'll start with oh, Vanguard. Let's take that guy down. We can run on him. That is awesome. Let's chase this So, these feel like they're not as well. Don't know how that one happened. Alright, so, not bad. What have we got? 63,000. Let's get 
Ah, oh, retry. Yeah, I'll go for a retry. I didn't think I had any um, respawns left. Ah, this bumper retry. Nah, I'm good. Let's just exit back to menu. Excuse me. Alright, so what can we do? We can either have a look at um, the universe or if I um, want to have a look at Star Marine. Up to you, really. All up to you. No real preference. No? Okay, so what I am going to do is... Um, I don't think I will get any Star Marine matches, to be honest. The best we're going to do is pretty much... Uh, if you want to have a look at some FPS at the moment, um, in, um, in Star Citizen, as in um, Star Marine or anything like that, let me know in the chat. If um, if not, we just jump into the universe and um, try our luck. So I'm going to jump into Crusader and straight into um, into our space ball. Let's do it. I'm out of um, I'm out of water. Definitely out of water. water. All right, so one, while we're loading, we should take a little bit. I'll be right back, ladies and gents. Won't be long. Would not be long.
All oh, right, we have bud. I do apologize about the way there, bro. Action going on. What do we have available? Go for a super Selection confirmed. Your ship is currently being delivered to the launch platform. Alright, the O4 is this way. Start heading. Someone coming in there. So, got a bit of activity going on today. Straight into the pilot seat, which uh, then prompts us to put mouse pad away and bring the joystick back to the desk. Anvil Aerospace. There is no real assistance or I'd be I'd be taking it and slap it in copy the equipment record out of mind at all. Wanna go check it out? I'll oh, type it up, babe. Ah. It's a bit no it's not there is. Let me know if you wanna check it out, you know. We can get out and have a look. Let's go and have a look. Alright, let's go and have a look. Alright, let's put the joystick away. We need this in EPA. Get a good idea of how big this ship is. Would be easy. Here we go. 
go, there's the hatch. Right, we're not going to close it. Okay, we'll get it. Okay. There we go. Done. Uh oh, no, get out, no, get out. Get in there, get in there. Okay, oof, now we're in. we've clipped out. We've clipped out as well as some of these ships. We get it. Where was it? Oh look, there we go. I'll go back to Side. Oh, it's on the side of the ship. That's it. Because I closed it, but then I got down. One of the shames is, is that I can't rotate with the ship once I'm in, inside it. Cargo bay. Close it. Drag me in there, drag me in there. Made it. I didn't open the card book. Unless I did.
pues a Lara. Ready? For the pot, Push this side. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. And we will stop our friend from spinning. She's pretty sure now. This is the pilot seat. Got no control of the joystick. Landing gear deployed. Landing gear raised. Alright, we've got control of the landing. No engine. No thrust. Absolutely not. Okay, so let's have a look at um not that. Spinning around the circle. I tried to reactivate the ship. Gotta shut down the ship. Oh. Now that seems to be working. Looks like it's truly, truly, utterly dead. Now I'm gonna try to get out of here. Yeah, we've got nothing. Okay, see if we can. Take a look at the engine. You can see how shot up it was. There's no way to repair it either. either. It is an amps, so so. No, I don't want to exit. Get out of the seat. Oh. All right. So, hmm. So yeah, it's dead. Pretty much dead. Let's see if we can get some something in the engineering side of the. Maybe reactivate. I don't know. I don't own one of these. I always wanted one. So um, let's have some fun, right?
Enjoy the ride. System check. Okay, this is looks like it's the weapon station. Or well, the weapon seems to be at 100%. Okay, so this would be the weapon station. Now we jump onto the engineering side and see if we can actually have a look at what it does. So that the pilot seat. And the pilot seat is not the pilot seat Ah. It's a bit bugged then. Alright, we'll get out of here. It's just not working. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Landing gear deployed. Landing gear raised. No exploits today. Yeah, the first. A shame. This ship would have been worth the criminal wreck. I'm just gonna enter the co-pilot seat here and see if this is the engineering station. Pretty much, right? I don't even know how to control it. Just not responding at all. Nice ship, it's a shame. Power online. Nothing respond. Oh well. It was a struggle getting into it. Fun, I guess. Now I'm assuming it'll be a bit of a pain to get out. Cool. Okay, so as soon as we get down there, we're going to stop being smacked around. Yeah, he's literally thrown out of the ship. There's the um, P-52 that he comes with. Awesome ship. Cool. Alright, so here we are on top of Port Olive. Look at that. Here we are on top of Port Olive. Causing a bit of grief, I would say. Look at this ship. This is one of the, uh, uh, what's this baby called? Can't remember what this baby was called. Hey, where the ship go? No, where the damn ship go? Oh damn! Oh damn! All right, it's um, would have been fun walking around that ship. Yeah, hey, look at that! Where are you off to? That is a ah, uh, I can't remember. Anyway, um. So, let's just restart and we'll respawn.
Let's go back to the control room. Let's see what um, missions we can get. We'll open up the uh, Moby Glass. Camping mission, not really. Um some RCC missions. Yeah, let's do some of those. Some RCCs. Alright, oops. F1. And we'll pick up our ship again. Alright, let's do this. Selection confirmed. Your ship is currently being delivered to the launch platform. Alright, so we are on launch pad. Landing pad E07. Seven to the right, and we'll jump into our ship. Alright, so we'll jump into the first uh, ICC mission. Normally it's just some random basic mission we've got to... Um... Aerospace. All systems So we have our first um, ICC mission. Start headed towards the program. Quantum travel scan probes in the area. What these little guys see, I see. Which, yes, means I can totally see you. Right now. Anyway, there was actually a reason to why I commed. I'm sort of not allowed to leave my post. Important jump point scanning and all. Mm. So, I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Yep. If you have a second, could you check out these coordinates? Scans are saying something's there. But can't idea. Alright, see what's there. Quantum travel engaged. Alright, so we're gonna head straight for the first um, uh, unidentified signal. Alright, so we're coming in, we're pretty much closing in on the first uh, distress beacon, 
OTP Definitely taking its time though. Even cruising at um, max um, after burner. Alright, get out of here while well, you still can. Damn it! Why does everybody have to fight back? Alright, so we are chasing down a Gladius. Just uh, show him a little bit of burst fire scene. That's off. If not, well. Alright, now it's a matter of um, getting my bearings again and just finding out where that beat was. That first area is beautiful, that didn't take long at all, which was. Which there could be times where it takes. Yeah, it takes quite a bit of time to get it. Alright, let's head straight in for our first um, ICC beacon run. Slow down. Speed up a bit. Coming close. And stop right about. Yeah, here we'll do it. We'll leave the rest of the way. Just push the joystick aside a little. Mouse pad. Let's jump back to the embassy. This person view. There's our beacon straight ahead. Definitely not traveling that far. Where's the uh, there? There's the hornet. We can still see the um, constellation somewhere. There it is. Marker for the constellation. Just a ship that I try to get into and maybe take for a bit of a speed, bit of a test drive. But um, the ship was not as um, cooperative. I was not cooperating at all. At Oh, let's see. 
All right, so we'll move on and um, we'll see if we can do a, um, a comma ray or two before the next um, the next ICC mission is ready. Just push the mouse back. Edward, all systems online. Let's do it. Let's waste my big glass and we'll quickly do a repair. Unless we've got an ICC. ICC already? Awesome. Alright, let's get out of here then. Proximity alert. Starboard. Proximity alert. Aft. Proximity alert. Port. Proximity alert. Proximity alert. Oh, okay. The block. Yeah. It's okay. Alright, so we'll do, um, we'll just clear that, um, big ass, um, rock that's there and we'll move on to onto our destination Lerafal 13, hello buddy, how you doing? How are you doing? I don't understand why you didn't come up to the main chat. That's interesting. Okay, so, main chat seems to be useless. Bring this one up instead. I can see there. Zoo original, welcome, welcome buddy. And click that there, like. Alright, so, get out of here, and we will jump onto this other distress point, and then we will fix all that up. repair beacon, I mean the stress beacon. So we really need to figure out pretty much where it is. And we go start heading that way and pretty much which way we gotta go. Now I'm thinking that they uh I uh save my ass mission. Problems with you right now. Here we but go. Stick around, and it's 
Whether I can actually take her, um, With that ship in her trouble, um, Andromeda. I mean, space is dangerous, but it's good to know that there are people like you out there too. I'm here for you, Tessa. I'm here for you, baby. Alright. Stop. Alright, let's go and see if we can do it in a row. Go restore nothing. Quantum travel right. engaged. Here we So while we wait, we ain't got any problems with you right now. But stick around, and it's gonna change. Right, so while we wait for um another ice mission to pop up. Damn it! Why does everybody have to fight back? Shields charging. Oh, Shields. I'm beginning to believe that that's an attack that from the AI just to ram. Alright, so let's um. This guy. Alright, so let's um. We're gonna have to um. Pretty much. to the EVA and um, we're going to reactivate the ray. Alright, so we'll pretty much um, Sneak our way through this uh, exhaust patch, I would say this would be, and make our way to the control panel down here, where we will uh, pretty much just interact with this uh, com terminal here. There we go, power on. System startup initiated. Establishing connection. Comrade Lockheed activates. Comrade function. Right, so we'll make our way across to back with 
them sharp and make our way to our ship. Here we go. Um, Look to see whether um and the aerospace all systems online. Yep. Alright. Let's go to our next ICs. Push the mouse up a bit. And Comare. Boom. Good. Get out of here. Forward proximity alert. Starboard proximity alert. Um, I think see just there on the markers, the triangle, upside down triangle, you could say. Go to the probe, press B on the keyboard, and we'll engage the hyperdrive. Get um, all your repairs. repairs on the Stand way. By. Fill her up. Fill her up. guys get caught out out in space and uh, you find yourself uh, you're running low they'll take care of you uh, by Astro they definitely will take care of your wallet and everything alright let's go let's continue on our way to the probe quantum travel engage yeah it was pretty much um, getting caught in the drift pretty much means exactly that um, you just gotta um, respawn. Welcome back to the drone. There's a DB blinking like mm. crazy on my screen. Here, I sent you the location. If you take a look, it's a win win. They get help, and I get to stop hearing the damn thing go beep, beep, beep every freaking second. Oh, and DB stats can distress me, by the way. Thank I you, I might be the only one who calls them DB. Feel free to start using it. Thank you. So we're going to head pretty much straight forward and pick up one of these um, stress beacon things here. Usually the one that you see roughly about um, 10 o'clock on the main one that we're pointing at. So, 
No, it's always there, but never activated. I always thought maybe it was something special that I would be looking at, but not. Sir, stand up. Navigating towards the shore. They have bread. Fly off, Civvy. This ain't your business. Loudest. I'm assuming this one wants to go first. Day 73. Very excited to be coming up to Crusader. Ever since the jump point, I've been working out a rough schedule of what to visit. And by my estimation, I can sightsee for four hours if I want to keep my schedule for the rest of the system. Oh, that's weird. Just got an alert that says an airlock was triggered. I swear, the new operating system is designed to not work with these older models. So, anyway, still undecided about whether to visit Hurston or not. Mm. This is already kind of... Well, so that was pretty much um scary. Let's go check out what's going Should the suit doesn't get snagged in any of the what have we got? What is that? I have one of them. Okay, um, yeah, you know what, I am absolutely hungry, so what I am going to do is take a 30 minute break, I've been on, I've been live for just over two hours now, I think I might um, take a bit of a, a bit of a snack break, and um, I will return in the meantime, I would like to thank you guys for us. Uh, Staying up with me and um, keeping me company, throwing me all those uh, tricky questions and all. However, oh, man, I got to eat. We'll just return to the main menu and um, we'll leave it as a. Um, did we crash? Sometimes we crash on the exit. No, no. Oh, 
nice. All right, so we are going to um, we're going to return in about thirty minutes after I had some tea. I do apologize if you had just come in, but it's just, oh so hungry right about now. So um, what I may do is leave you guys with um. Actually, I'll put a schedule up on YouTube for the foot o'clock. All right, guys, let me just uh, make sure I'm in the right button. See, all right, guys, once again, thanks for coming through. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in about 30 minutes or so. In the meantime, um, feel free to throw me a comment if you want to keep watching Star Citizen or something else. Um, all right, guys, once again.